Alright, this is Cigar Box Guitar. Can you see me in there? This is Cigar Box Guitar for Extreme Beginners, Lesson 5. And uh, what we talked about in the last lesson was uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G being the standard chord for all music play. I drew a little chart here. And I, I want you to see it. I'll put it closer so you can see it better. But what I started with was a drawing and I took and I put a line every inch. I've got about 13 marks on the sheet. But this is showing you what the chords are on your guitar. It starts with the nut. It starts with the nut. And since we've been tuned in G, it would start at the nut. Then notice it skips. Notice it skips a space. And then you got the A. Then it skips a space. And you got the B. Then the C. Then it skips another space. And you got the D, then it skips a space, and you have the E, then the F, then it skips a space, and you have the G again, which starts you right back up here at the nut where we started from, and then this would continue on a space, then an A, and so on. It would copy this all over again. You need to make yourself a copy of this, and you can transpose this from any chord. The only thing you got to remember is there's never a space between B and C or E and F. If you look at the keys on a piano, you'll see they got three keys, three black keys, then two black keys, and three black keys and two black keys. That's so they can achieve this. These lines represent sharps and flats, meaning if you were playing right here on the third dot of our guitar, we could either call that an A sharp or a B flat. And the next lesson I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth on that. but there's no sharp or flat between B and C or E and F ever. But other than that, if you played one fret up from the D, you're either in D sharp or you could call it E flat. And I'll teach you what those notes mean later, but you ought to make yourself one of these charts. And I even had a good friend uh, put tape down the side of his guitar neck, line it out with the uh, fret calculator. I use W fret on the internet and uh, you can make the lines on your guitar and write these in and then you'll know where the chords are and then you can play just about any song you want to play. I wanted to pick it up a little bit, uh, do a song that's a little bit more involved for you all this time. Uh, it's going to start in the third, the third dot and you're going to slide up to the fifth. Open. Three, five, open. Three, five, open. Three, five, open. Slide to the fifth and hold it. Three, five, open. Three, five, open. Back to the fifth. Three, five, open. Five open. Seven. Five. Three. Five open. Then you're going to go. Third. Open. Third fret. Now for this song, you're going to have to add your 10th fret. You can hear it. This would be my 12th. The 12th is just would be two frets down. The 10th fret would be two frets down. If you look at that on the chart we just made, that's an F chord. If you're using a tuner, hold your first string to the F, and that will give you that note. Now on this song, this is a song by White Snake. Uh, Slow and Easy, I think, is the name of it. We're starting the third to the fifth fret. Keep on pushing, babe, like I've never known before. Oh, you've got a crazy child, but I just want to see you on the floor. Three, five, open. Laura, super. 
superstitious woman. That seven five open. No, seven five three. Just open the outer strings. Holding me like I've never known. Open. Seven. Cause you got a superstitious mind, and I don't care. Now take me down slowly. Now that's gonna be your fifth fret. And then there's a little riff. If you act like you have a second fret there and you take the middle string, you slide up to the third. The middle string, then the bottom string, the same thing. You're sliding from the second fret to the third, then the bottom string, second fret to the third, then open. You take me down slowly. You me slowly. Till I'm back to the bone. That goes from the tenth to the fifth.